Oh, I opened up my laptop, right? And I'd been playing with uh, Keynote. I don't know if you're familiar, Apple's uh, version of PowerPoint. And I'd written, <laughs> but I'd written, right, in big letters, right? I'd been dicking around with it because Lauren needed it for um, uh, a presentation. And I'd written in big letters, <laughs> but fuck Tuesdays, the, the Pete Donaldson story. <laughs> Flipped it open on the tube in front of a lot of kids. I'm going to prison. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but fuck Tuesdays. <laughs> with my dossier oh yeah. no I'm not going to bother <laughs> um, yeah I did know I uh, to go off subject for a minute I listened to the uh, 606 stuff yeah and then there was a caller I can't remember if it was immediately after yeah. or, or soon after and he phoned in and uh, I forget his name and, and perhaps where he was from but he was he was a Man United fan and he wanted to talk about that he was like well I think we need to sign Wisney Snyder oh he's from the West Country and, uh, well, in my head he was <laughs> and, uh, he, uh, and, and, and Robbie Savage was like okay yeah and he went another thing I, I know he's been great for the club, but I'm not sure Sir Alex Ferguson has done as much as he could for Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think Alex Ferguson knows that if he's really honest with himself. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Robbie Savage is just like, you're another planet, mate. <laughs> His first point was, he was like, why not? He went, well, I wouldn't have let Beckham go. He <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have let Beckham go. Yeah. <laughs> and Robbie Savage went, oh yeah, but you brought in Ronaldo. And he goes, well, I've had them both there. <laughs> he goes, I would have moved, I would have moved Beckham in the centre midfield. His, his next point was, oh, I love it. I thought he let Diego Forlan go too early. <laughs> so, <laughs> time, time, yeah. yeah. And then he went, I'd have signed Tevez two years before he did. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, How long would Tevez have been? I don't know. I'd have I gone over to Argentina <laughs> and I got a little fella called Messi. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, he would have got a human killing robot <laughs> called Ventar from the planet Doodle <laughs> Fart. <laughs> it was, uh, the, the biggest waste of time I've ever the producer must have just been laughing oh my goodness and then he started on Berbatov well, I don't, I'd have rather had Tevez and Berbatov and he's like Robbie Savage he was your top goal scorer joined top goal scorer last season yeah well uh, Tevez is more an inspirational player it's just like oh, hold <laughs> yeah. off I love it yeah. I love that I love I love it <laughs> I bloody love it that sounds like the best call since that guy kept called in and started having a go at Love Joy oh the out of breath and got really excited <laughs> yeah, yeah that's class now then tell me one for the future Sooner 20 later, years uh, <laughs> If Wenger stays at Arsenal, he will sign a globule of sperm. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things about it. Don't say Donated globule. by Jim Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, would, it would be fitting. Now, uh, we move to Germany, of course, where police are hunting a small group of fans. Uh, I think they're Cologne fans. Um, they're thought to have been throwing cups of piss and feces at rival supporters <laughs> during a Bundesliga game. This is a Schalke 5-1. Yeah. Remember the 5-1? We yeah. talked yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Podolski scoring and Raul yeah. was, a, was a lovely chip. Well, um, uh, or scoop, rather. Is that... Yeah, scoop. Rel- it was a scoop. scoop. Uh, yeah, Nearly scoop. a pun. A, scoop. a pooper yeah. scooper. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Okay. Um, that's right. The objects uh, thrown, the, the, the piss and, and the poo, were described as disgusting missiles. <laughs> To be fair, they served that up at Fratton Park and charge you for it. <laughs> they were complaining about it. Disgusting yeah, yeah. missile. Um, it's like a hot dog. I love that. An article I was reading about this said a witness is reported to have seen one man put feces in a beer cup. I like the, I like, I like, sentence. I like the word put. I like the word put, put. not pooed. <laughs> that goes in there. I am placing this in there. Because the president of Cologne is actually Wolfgang Overarthy. I think played for West Germany against England in 66. Yeah, that's um, right, yeah. And Simpler times. Th- yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you'd asked him back then. What joke have you been doing in 2011? <laughs> He'd probably be thinking about like, robot football, <laughs> space cars. <laughs> no, you're going to be making a comment about your fans throwing piss and shit at other fans. <laughs> Shoots me now. That's what we'll be thinking. With a disgusting missile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. yeah. It's <laughs> not all we like to say, is it? <laughs> the times are a change. It's a crud missile. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, very yeah. good. Piss. Piss. Very good. Pissile. P- uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it works as well. Works as well. Thriller, isn't it? <laughs> Just turns you one way and the other. Yes, the SPL. You don't know which way you're going. Yeah. Who done it? Who done it? <laughs> um, uh, now, before we leave the Great British Isles in search of uh, some European football, uh, Pete. You've got something for us. I've got something for you, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of footballers on Twitter, but by and large, they're mostly just idiots talking about, I don't know, what they've bought or what they're going to do or what they're going to see. But I want to call this feature The Life and Times of Sammy Amiobi. <laughs> 
Sammy Amiobi, as you probably know, is a footballer for Newcastle United. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> He's better than his brother. Yeah, better yeah. than me. You're sitting there in your old Newcastle <laughs> shirt, kind of qualified as well on that Russian. Uh, and yeah, so he has a, a, a Twitter account. And he's clearly a, a sweet, mixed up boy who never lets life get him down, no matter what no. befalls him. Um, is, is this it, real? It, yeah, it, it sounds is. like it's, a cartoon. These, are all, these <laughs> are all just. I've gone through Sammy Amiobi's. Um, is that three, his Twitter three bio? History. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> through his Twitter history. Um, 20th of June Clearly concerned about Newcastle losing one of their best players Sammy asks Twitter Where is everyone finding this info that Shola wants out? I can't find it anywhere <laughs> Just ring him Just ring, ring, your, him. ring yeah. your brother Sammy Ring your brother 26th of June How I managed to find a train ticket for £15 to King's Cross I will never know <laughs> Where was he coming from? I can't remember. Right, 10th of July 9pm Just scored the best goal ever on FIFA I should get an award for it Oh, 9 9 30 does Entourage start tonight Then five minutes later What does Entourage start tonight <laughs> 11th of July Accidentally stood on my MacBook Pro And cracked the screen Oh um, no. 12th of July I've literally been lying in bed Playing solitaire on my iPad For the past two hours Hashtag what <laughs> 17th Seriously need to learn how to cook I'm so hungry Hashtag where's mum <laughs> <laughs> 19th <laughs> Holland tomorrow Won't miss this weather 20th Went and forgot my passport at home <laughs> 21st So they decided to take my training kit to America Just not me LOL <laughs> He's happy about that He's absolutely I love it. He's, he's got not, nothing in training I can't believe his luck <laughs> He's murking himself. 25th, to, uh, at Tommy Amiobi, his brother who play, now plays in Iceland. Uh, do you need your 65 sheets back? <laughs> <laughs> Lending each other money on Twitter. Text him, for fuck's sake. 29th, 5th of August. Want to go and watch the reserves tonight, but don't know where the stadium is. A postcode might help. <laughs> His first five know where the reserves He played the reserves for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> 9th of August My dream and reality Hashtag simultaneous <laughs> That's my favourite one uh, 11th How far is Scunthorpe? <laughs> Right. Use the tool that and he uses. Does he think Scott is like a, a Google? <laughs> I think he is, yeah. 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 Um, he's like that sort of uh, fellow who gave his dad a Twitter account. Old man search. Old man yeah. search, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like <laughs> Sammy Ammy Obi search. Um, this is, oh, these were from yesterday. They did make me laugh. Oh, dear. Went to get something out of the boot of my car. Ended up dropping my car and house keys down the drain. I feel like crying. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I've got a spare screw getting them out. Then five minutes later, after everyone pointed out that if someone knew where Sammy lived, they'd be able to fish him out the drain and rob his house slash steal his car. <laughs> Sammy tweeted, hmm, never thought of that. Whoops. Half an hour later, missed most of the first half fishing my keys out of drain. Hashtag disgusting. Who scored for West Brom? <laughs> <laughs> and then, with and then, fi to do and then finally for now The dirty water has short circuited my car keys Hashtag gutted <laughs> <laughs> You gotta do those things Sammy Amiobi Oh what he does he... make me What is that boy like? Brilliant I believe it's time for an email It is isn't it? Go so on let's, Jimbo Let's do one of them I've got one of those here uh, Right <laughs> Ramblers Hello I was listening to a few older rambles and listened to the one where Jim mentions that he saw in the sun that Jonathan Woodgate glassed himself but couldn't find the article. <laughs> it's my yeah. favourite footballer story of all time. Yeah. Well, I've there. found it. Ah, yeah. good boy. Absolutely mental. From the Sun newspaper, soccer star Jonathan Woodgate was helped from a bar pouring blood from a head wound after glassing himself. <laughs> Didn't he then take himself out? Well, 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 the story was, sorry, 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 yeah. Woodgate, 24, was having a rowdy night out in Ibiza <laughs> when he smashed the glass over his bonce. Bonce. Yeah. <laughs> Just from the Was he yeah. just outside the cars? <laughs> An unlucky Before said, he had some nookie. <laughs> <laughs> or a romp. Or a romp, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, one in a bed romp, I imagine. Um, and the onlooker <laughs> said, uh, it was amazing. One minute he was jumping around with his mates, next there was blood everywhere. I love that quote. That it starts... It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Another club goer said, Woodgate and three or four male friends arrived around 7pm on Sunday. They had had a lot to drink. They were play fighting and throwing drinks over each other. At one stage, one dropped his trousers. Then without warning... Tom Hatchison, that bit. Yeah, almost certainly. I mean, if he's dropped his trousers again, then that's out of order. But, um... Then without warning, Woodgate broke a glass over his head. He walked out, helped by friends. He was holding a shirt over his forehead, trying to stop the blood gushing out. It looked like a bad injury. Bouncers checked him out and he just wandered away. 
Do you reckon you know <laughs> Woodgate did not go to hospital Last night he told pals It was just a little scratch Yeah As he Craig picked glass out of, his <laughs> yeah. out of his skull <laughs> One of the most gifted English defenders Ladies and gentlemen oh, Who's man. that from Jim? Craig Monroe in Edinburgh so Cheers, Craig. Thank you very much Craig. Craig He just wandered away Yeah yeah. Just a little scratch It's time for me to leave We just like to see Paul Bracewell <laughs> It always, always is. It always is. is. Isn't it? Sound like his voice. Right then. Get to Germany, Mark. Germany. You're going to love that Italian referee ref it. <laughs> <laughs> doing exhibition matches now. That's never a penalty. <laughs> Again. Lou, you're going to love this one. Um, Bayern Munich fans caught shagging in the stands during a match against Hoffenheim. It Why am I specifically going to love that one? Because you love shagging. Are you here? Yeah. Banter. Hey. My men. You, top you gear. Like Bayern Munich fans. I've never even been to Munich. <laughs> Sausage train. <laughs> <laughs> we oh yeah, pathetic. Two fans were <clears throat> ejected from the stadium. Uh, they, they, this <laughs> happened within 16 minutes of the kickoff. They were making new fans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It should be. Yeah, it's, a, it's a drive. It's like yeah. that, that video that. Um, <laughs> Come on, it was it? Get a feel, was it in it? Spain? What's that? It was Getafe, wasn't it? What was that one? They did a video encouraging. Oh yeah, oh, right, that's right, fans that's right. to have kids. Yeah, blimey. Um, the the eyewitness quote is just stunning from this. Um, <laughs> it says, uh, "I I thought it did not look right. They had absolutely no inhibitions. Both pulled the pants down and just went at it." <laughs> <laughs> That was is generally how it works. Was it two boys, or two, or, uh, two boys or a boy or a girl? I think it was a, a lad and a lass. Oh, um, a lad and a lass. Uh, uh, stewards told them to stop, uh, which they did. <laughs> but during half time, they had another go and were chucked out. <laughs> Pushing the luck. Do you think it's maybe they're a new couple? He's he's dragged her along to, to the football, see if yeah. she likes it. She doesn't really, so she's been really clever is about. It, is it like, like this every week? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently, the match ended nil nil, but at least somebody scored. <laughs> no. I was about to say. I was hoping it'd be on two one, and I was going to say they come from behind. <laughs> oh dear! You got anything, Pete? Uh, jism. <laughs> Is that all right? Is that the level we're talking yeah. here? Mm. That was better than you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, Sven Gordon Eriksson has offered David Beckham a chance to join Leicester City to play a coach role. Fuck off, Marcus. <laughs> and now it's time for going for glory. Ah. Champion spirit is here to stay. Oh, Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it's profile time. Now, this week, there is a birthday. It's a 74th birthday for one of the legends, the true greats of the English game. And a knight of the realm. It's Sir Bobby Charlton. Ooh, <laughs> I thought you were going to go for Don Hutchinson. <laughs> <Massive. laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, won that, won that, won that, won that. 1966. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> he, uh, our proud lion. <laughs> <laughs> Much fewer yeah. matches as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to win a win. Yeah, forget what you heard at the start of the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, just before the World Cup, he was named Football Writers Player of the Year and would later be named European Footballer of the Year. He was 28 going into that tournament. A 28 year old Peak. Bobby Charlton. Peak. Oh. Looked hair like a 50 year old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Swept over beautifully. Lulled him into a full yeah. sense of security. You, yeah, you look, at, you look at his hair when he was younger, and oh, I yeah. sort of look, see a lot of his hair in my hair, and I think, <laughs> oh, God. There's a great picture of him uh, convalescing after the Munich <laughs> air disaster where he's in the alley. Um, playing with a bunch of kids. Oh, that's right. He's got a wonderful quiff, wonderful yeah. fifties <laughs> yeah, haircut. Yeah, yeah. I think Bobby Charlton's hair just really kind of epitomises how much he wouldn't give up on a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's a real winner's yeah, attitude. Yeah, yeah. He won that hair. Skillful with the ball, skillful with the brush. <laughs> Leave it, let it go. I can win it back. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't over hair. It's all about percentages. In a way, with his haircut, he invented the pressing game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, the, and the side sweep. Um, yeah, not good enough. I've won the points again. Uh, second week in a row. I am on a hat trick, you ladies and gentlemen. You should not be allowed to give yourself the points. I was Jack. reading. I was reading the Wikipedia entry for uh, the football ramble. Here we I, go. I downloaded the whole of Wikipedia to my phone. I was this, very pleased. It sounds ominous. Four, four gigabytes, people. It's huge. Um, and, you know there's uh, an app. Say again. You know there's an app. <laughs> yeah, but you can't get that on the tube. And I spend a lot of my time underground and in caves and shit. Um, <laughs> But um, and 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 the entry of the photo ramble says, and every and every episode, Marcus awards points, which mean nothing. I like how it's got the crux of the uh, the That's point. Absolute nonsense. It is. Before you get on the main show, though, lads, yes. I, I, um, I've just come back from Croatia. He has. As some of you may already know, he's so I brought a... you an official shirt signed by an official player. Oh, it looks oh. to me. It's oh my goodness! Croatia look. shirt with a number oh. ten on the back and Modric. Yeah. yeah. And on the Lovely. front, it says, <laughs> cool, "It appears it? to be a genuine." Right. A, a genuine, genuine signed shirt. I'll read it out. From Luka Modric. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. 
<laughs> Luka Shitting Modric here. Thought you might like an official definitely Croatia shirt for Ramble HQ. Good luck with the forthcoming season, you pricks. Um, regards, Luka Modric. Wow. All right. His English is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. pretty real, yeah. Very good. He learned it from Sam in Asri. Put, it up, on, <laughs> put it up on the wall. Yeah. Excellent. Nice yeah. one, um, Pete. You look at that video It's yeah. like the attendance Was in the tens The world's watching It's on the internet It is yeah, yeah. Um, Now Czech yeah. Republic This was from last week actually uh, The title Drunk Czech referee Sends off three players For no real reason <laughs> It's just <laughs> the business Isn't it it's Oh like- you Come here <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> it's things like that. you better than me. <laughs> <laughs> With your sweat of shit on your butt. Come here. This, Oi. Was, this was in the running order before the Chelsea Arsenal game. <laughs> <laughs> um, referee Thomas Fidra, he was officiating a Czech league match between um, Yastrabi <laughs> and uh, Tynek Nad Lebem, which uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with. The players were a little bit suspicious even before kickoff. Because <laughs> the refs. <laughs> <Gina kebab>. Because <laughs> <laughs> the refs smelt strongly of alcohol and was talking about a mate's birthday party he'd just been to <laughs> <laughs> what sort of birthday party starts then <laughs> he's, he's, turned up, he's turned up he's going oh, hey, yeah. just been on a jolly up boy Rev you can't send me off what are you doing <laughs> I've had a lovely day <laughs> <laughs> I've had a great day maybe he got two out because he saw two players and there's only, <laughs> only sent one man he on. was stumbling around the pitch and fell over a few times he was visibly drunk <laughs> the video is brilliant where somebody's trying to get him off the pitch and he's just sort of like <laughs> trying to just, you know when men lean. forget how to walk yeah, that <laughs> lovely lean where it's like the, it almost looks comfortable yeah. it's like oh yeah. that man's not using any of his vertebrae <laughs> <laughs> You're sort of like, ah. <laughs> They're trying to get the ref off the pitch. Did they get a replacement referee today? Uh, no. No, what happened was, um, <laughs> so he, he was stumbling around, and a, a couple of the uh, Gestrawi players asked him if he was alright, and he just responded by sending three of them off. <laughs> <laughs> Am I alright? I'll fuck you then, hey? Come on, pay this I'm not drunk. Yeah. I, I'll tell you when I've had enough. I was going to say, I'll tell you when I've said enough of. I'll chop your hands off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, the, the opposition said, look, this is ridiculous, and they didn't they didn't contest the rest of the match. They played it out, and it finished one all. But uh, w- one of the guys there said his breath smelt like a brewery, and he didn't, he, he didn't hide the fact that he had been celebrating a birthday. But he went on to say, there's no rule which bans a drunk referee from taking <laughs> shots. Sure all the reds of a match yeah. and he said if we'd have refused to continue to play we'd have been sanctioned the best thing is, I, I can imagine them yeah. going right we're not going to contest this he's hammered let's just play it out and they think they've got one over yeah. the ref and they sort it out five minutes from the end <laughs> penalty <laughs> 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 he's on the he's, he's on the intercom <laughs> <laughs> stop this he's on the tannoy on purpose take it again <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, police were called and they breathalyzed him and he was nine times over the Czech uh, drink driving which limit. I he imagine is high he yeah, wasn't was <laughs> He wasn't driving though. Why did the police need to be scared? Oh, just, just in case he was. Because if you're that over the limit, you're not allowed to drive yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been to the Czech Republic, and I imagine the yeah. drive limit is high. Yeah. It, well, it would have to be <laughs> to cater for the needs of the population. <laughs> yeah. Dad, oh. you are too drunk to watch news night. <laughs> Call the police. Yeah. Oh dear. Right then. Who's got him? Let's. Who's got him? Who's Andy oh, Gorham? Who's <laughs> right, I've got an email here. Uh, my, my work friends and I were bored, so we started putting together a dog football team. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did we not have anything else? It's, it's been light this week. It's not, it's Everyone what? wants a game. What job is this? Can I apply? Nobody's right. got a job at nowadays. Come on. <laughs> here are some of the players. <laughs> Lewis Fido. <laughs> that is terrible. Fido, like dog box. That's a poor that is literally star. dog shit. Dogoberto. Um. Mark <laughs> Mark Rover Mars. Yeah, that's better. better. That's better. But that sounds like Mars Rover, which is Darren it? Fetcher. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Asmir Begovic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Robert Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Uh, Wes Howlahan. Yeah, yeah. Per Red Setterberg. Sorry, yeah. Par Red Setterberg. There's loads of these. Dennis Poor. <laughs> <laughs> King Charles and Zogbia, John Terrier, Jan Collar, Danny Shitsu, Stan Collymore, Nicky Mutt, DDA Dogba. <laughs> How many things are there? Oh, there's more. Doggy Zamora. <laughs> it's about 20. Rodney boys. Jack Russell, Growl Morelish. I like that. Oh, that's very good. Emil Husky, yeah. Johan Crofts. <laughs> that's gross. Bark Ji Sung, Kenny Dog Leash, Stray Given. <laughs> Ian Walkies, <laughs> Pop Guardiola, Poppy Rayner, Spaniel Alves, Mongrel Fox, Dober Manuel Petit, Anders Lindegard Dog, and Mutt Letissier. 
hasn't really left us open to do our own, has no. he? No. <laughs> I don't think we need to add him Ian now. Bourne. Ian Warne. <laughs> 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 But I'll have a crack. <laughs> Team names are Black Lab Rovers, Leeds Untied, or mm. Seattle Hounders, which I think has got to be a winner there. And that's from Ken Cross, uh, who says thanks to all at G Casino Brighton. Cheers, Ken. Well, well, I can think it's been was, a slow week. All well, I can think of is Andy Paw's room. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Paw. Get on the <laughs> Get on the back lamp, host. <laughs> Dennis Paw. So I don't know who that is. Sounds Dennis like a dog's Paul. name. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a dog's name. It's a really good name. He is for a good dog. at. He is good at back heels. <laughs> hey, Dennis Paw. Straight Givens up there for me. Straight Givens is good. <laughs> oh, zero dear. We've got the next email. Is there another one? There's never going to be one no, again. No. <laughs> it's a broken email. Well, if you'd like to uh, upset. The <laughs> whole world <laughs> Show at thefootballramble.com We've completed email yeah. That's <laughs> yeah exactly The combination of Dennis Poor and Robert Woof Has just <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's have a profile For crying out Let's look at the job It's Dirk Snout <laughs> <laughs> They don't have snouts Do they um, Oh dear <laughs> Karen Carpenter. Uh, <laughs> Callum, not in any way. Callum from Cardiff. Uh, Ramblers, following the trend of former footballers becoming PE teachers, yes. my 10 year old sister is taught by former Manchester United, Oldham, Swansea, and Cardiff City footballer Derek Brazil. Ooh. It only occurred to me to email in this week when my sister started asking about whether overhead kicks were dangerous, <laughs> and I explained that they were difficult and that really only professional footballers can do them. She told me that Mr. Brazil had made them watch him attempt overhead kicks for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got an assistant to put in hundreds of crosses which he failed to connect with? <laughs> Great lesson. <laughs> Ten year old girls. That's what I need. It's a life skill. It's it high. Is. It's like, that high. It's like fucking cares. That is a shit delivery, Jones. <laughs> get that it, is shit. Get it off the ground, Smith. <laughs> wow. Well, God. Uh, when one of her mates began to laugh, he apparently went mental and gave them a roll call of the clubs and appearances he had made to put them in their place. That's surely yeah. not true, Callum, but thank you very much. It doesn't matter if they're true. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it does, does matter if they're true, for crying out loud. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You've broken Pete, listeners. Yeah. <sighs> Lucals? All right, there you go. Right then, uh, boys. Uh, Mike Ashley has renamed St James's Park the Sports Direct Arena. A good move, I think we can all agree. <laughs> if you could name a stadium, what would you call it, Jim? I would take Ewood. Jim, that makes sense. Good start. Peatles, what have you got? Um, I, I'd rename Newcastle United's ground. Yep. St James's Park slash the Sports Direct Arena. Yep. The Cave of Funk. <laughs> Right, I would just love because, that. just because, not the home of sexy football. It would be no. good because people would have to say it seriously. The yeah. cave of funk. Yeah, the cave <laughs> of funk. <laughs> and especially if there was a disaster that happened there, that would be yeah. tragic. So yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, for 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 both reasons. Reasons. at the cave of funk. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That is atrocious. <laughs> um, I apologise to everybody. Um, so you're going <laughs> to the cave of funk. <laughs> The right. intro music would be brilliant. You'd have to go with some sort of slap bass classic. Yeah. yeah. It sounds. It, it comes to something where. Uh, that, that would surely. That would promote sexy football with, within yeah, exactly. itself. It something when that is still better than the Sports Direct Arena. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd it's prefer that. <laughs> Sports Direct Cave of Funk. It is, sounds uh, funny with a Jordy accent as well. Yeah. Cave, Cave of, of Funk. <laughs> Up next on ITV2. <laughs> <laughs> the attendance uh, this afternoon has been 42,000 at the Cave of Funk. <laughs> right, okay. Luke. Uh, Defeat.com yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, A little mention to Giovanni Dos Santos Good to have him back Yeah Four years he's been at Spurs It's ridiculous isn't it Yeah <laughs> One of the I think he's forgotten he existed One of my claims <laughs> Some sort of existential crisis One, one of my claims of, of, of watching football like this I saw him in the flesh play for Barcelona Did you, yeah. Wow <laughs> when, he, when he was put on the team sheet Right he, Everyone in the dressing room Including him mm. Said Who, Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> and then cracked up When they remembered Yeah, yeah. <laughs> To be fair to him Defoe nicked his first goal as well yeah, he did esque it was uh, yeah. I mean he's, he's just put himself In the shop window there surely Oh yeah, he has Jimbo Oh yeah. that's what but he's it's done It's weird Spurs really have got some Decent players just rattling around there Like him and Stephen Pienaar What do yeah. they do in the daytime? Imagine <laughs> they just hang out together Being sad It's just <laughs> 
But yet Harry looks like a bloated corpse dredged out of a river red nap. Still sees fit to tap up Denver Bar. You know. <laughs> Still wants to get the. Oh you're, no! Oh, wait. that release clause is less than seven million. It's what it may they are less saying. Than that. It's what they are saying. Who's there, Harry? Probably the chairman. That's I wonder what your release clause is. It's probably a file in a fucking cake. You. <laughs> <cunt>. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Pete. Yeah. I'm really scared of this transfer window. He, I'm going to be hiding. Is he? Is he touching one of your babies? He's <laughs> touching. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not even that. He's feeding him syrup from his tit. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's not on, is it? If that's not publicly tapping on the player, I mean, what well, feed? Oh, sorry. Well, passion for the games, passion for the game. Yeah, um, but the Brazilians, uh, they can't be the FA can't be trusted either because um, this was a couple of weeks ago. Carlos Teixeira. Well, d- well we li- him point. Yeah, well, we we'll leave him alone. Oh, this right. is not even wow. involving him. He's just, he's just having a good time. Leave yeah. him alone. <laughs> he's enjoying himself. Well, uh, one of their employees, uh, Jose Maria Marin, was he was caught on camera doing this. He, he stole a medal during. Uh, a presentation <laughs> ceremony at the Copa Sao Paulo which meant the Corinthians goalkeeper went without a medal <laughs> <laughs> yoink he what, did won sort of, the tournament did he sort of like palm it or something I pro- <laughs> you, I've seen it he puts it in his pocket I mean it's like a white <laughs> Just Is it Peter Kenyon? <laughs> the, yeah, he, he had his round the neck. Yeah. Yeah. Just having the cojones to do that in the first place. He must know he's going to get caught and just not care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a player who has won that tournament is did, gone without... Did the, the Brazilian FA not make the medals? Just make an extra one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you want one. Is that, can't I, spend it anywhere. I love the idea of it being like a really impromptu, like off the cuff thing. Oh, I'm having that. Yeah. He's not planned it. Oh, Maybe he's a kleptomaniac. Maybe he can't help it. Yeah. Maybe we're being harsh on the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you suffer quite badly from that, don't you, Marcus? Not anymore. <laughs> oh, is it, but I think uh, we are to blame for this, though. Yeah. <laughs> Give us listeners. Um, Luke. All right. All right, boys. Uh, good to have you here with me. Otherwise, it'd be bloody lonely. Now, Balotelli scored a goal with his shoulder on the weekend. Didn't he just? If you could score a goal with any body part, which would it be Jimbo? Well, uh, you're willing to take that risk. I can't complain. It is my fault. I asked a question. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Luke, what are you going for? I'm going to go for the perineum. <laughs> That would be difficult. difficult. AKA, As the Scottish people call it, the tent. AKA mm. the Gooch. Yeah. Uh, AKA the Buffman's Bridge. A, a mystery to <laughs> a mystery to even us as men. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't get to see mine very often. Yeah, I've got mm. one. Like I don't the kids. know a lot about it. The logistics of how it would work are, are still a challenge to me at the moment. Because <laughs> I find it hard to score as it is. I, I mm. think well, you'd have to time a cartwheel really well. No, I think he would need to be <laughs> thrown by a teammate. <laughs> Legs are <at> him. Yeah. <laughs> it's a highbrow start to the show this week, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, uh, wow. Well done, that man. Beckham will beat that. <laughs> Be back or beat that. If I had my way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, uh, a big score from Asia where Bahrain. Bully. Beat, <laughs> yeah. Well, Bahrain beat Indonesia 10 0, mm. but FIFA will be carrying out a routine investigation on the match. Now, this is because Bahrain needed a nine goal win and a defi- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bullshit for big score. <laughs> 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 and FIFA just want to definitely check they pulled off the, uh, the exactly, fixed bottle. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did agree on 10, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Bahrain needed an Michael win and um, and they needed Qatar to lose uh, against Iran for them to qualify for the next phase of the region's World Cup qualifying competition. They can't have Toulouse playing as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is clear. Yeah. Qatar, unfortunately, uh, foiled this uh, because they got an 86-minute equaliser. I thought it was an 86 nil win there. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> definitely <laughs> fixed. And so went through on goal difference. But, um, <laughs> so no, they drew to all with Iran. 86 minutes uh, equaliser went through. But um, FIFA are right to be suspicious as Bahrain and Indonesia have played each other six times before. And which has served up two wins each and two draws. <laughs> I mean, Indonesia have had a lot of their um, best players uh, suspended because they've been playing in this for fixing matches for fixing matches. No, for, yeah. for, for, for playing in this sort of breakaway league. But I love this: the Indonesian national team coordinator, <laughs> Bob Hippie. Uh, <laughs> Guys, don't fucking worry about it. It's fine, hey, man. Look at that sunset. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Finishes every sentence with the word man. Do you want a blowback? Um, <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's my scream. Apparently, apparently he was awake for the match and he wasn't happy with the referee <laughs> as he awarded. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Totally buzz killed doing, bro? <laughs> this game's too fast. <laughs> Totally fast this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
Um, he wasn't happy because Bahrain were awarded four penalties and the Indonesian keeper was sent off in the second minute. And uh, Hippie said, um, but, <laughs> sorry, I can't. Don't you want somebody to love? <laughs> he said, Before the game, I heard rumours saying Bahrain would win big, and it happened. How could, they, how, could they, how could they ever give so many penalties for Bahrain? He killed us, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't, he didn't say man, but he said this he killed is us. the dawning of the age of Aquarius. <laughs> That's yeah. glorious stuff from Asia there. Bob oh. Hippie. Everybody. Bob Hippie. Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You just, you just believe that lovely voice, don't you? I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah, yeah. like that. Um, but I saw Fulham. Sure against, if- I saw Fulham against Wigan on on the weekend, and it was so nice to see um, two sides. Not massive teams, of course, but so much of the ball was played on the deck. Yeah, mm. you know, and obviously that you sure know, much. We, sure much. Yeah, um, there was a. It's funny at Fulham because. Obviously, it's quite a quiet crowd. It's all very yes. nice and, and polite. But there was one knobhead just a couple of rows back. Going, oh, you mark yourself for my rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like you. <laughs> and, uh, like, properly abusing the ref, like, really unnecessarily. And I thought, this no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't worse than Pete. <laughs> what do you mean? But, look, when <laughs> Connor, but you know when one of those guys who's not funny, when Connor Sam- Salmon came on, oh, here he comes, F off fish. Shut up, fish! Oh and then when Kevin Fry came on, he went, "Oi, he's gonna fry you, fish!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I like that. No, yeah. no, you don't it's like brilliant. it. Um, I like it yeah. But like, no one. But what is right, weird, it's, it's like a school bully's followed him to the gate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just. Oh. It reminds me of when I saw a guy. A bloke. A dr- he's a dr- whoever he is, is a dreadful. Did he bloke. think he was Mark Fish? I don't know. Um, but he wasn't fitting into the ambience in the stadium. Let me tell you. Well, once when I was at Guildford train station, there was a bloke on the platform with just a beard, just an old bloke with a slightly greying beard, and no this, clothes. And these kids came round him to him and said, "Oh," and one of them went, "Oi, beardy, nice beard." <laughs> <laughs> and another one chipped in with, "Oi, Captain Birdseye, do us a fish finger." <laughs> just, <laughs> Terrible, terrible insults not thought through. Yeah, I, well, I was at the train station a little while ago and there was a bloke just running along because the train was there and this drunk bloke just looked at me and went, Wanker! <laughs> this guy's in his 40s. <laughs> What's wrong with the population? Oh, I saw a man doing a wee on the uh, Tottenham Court Road uh, tube uh, tracks shouting, I'm sorry, I've just got to do this. You're going to get electrocuted, <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. God. Some little train, train tail there. And a way trip to Benfica is quite a kind of straightforward thing for a lot of those players. They've done that sort of thing so many times. You know. Yeah. Um, elsewhere in the Champions League, Applewell and uh, mm. are against Real Madrid. I thought it was a bit of a shame actually because they, they will get done over. But then you know it's great for Nicosia to have Real Madrid turn up. Yeah, to absolutely. Of course, you know. yeah. I have to say, um, I have to mention this: that, uh, when Real Madrid beat uh, CSK Moscow four one at home, five two on aggregate, of course. You know, I mean, they, they look great. On, on, yeah. Wonderful form. They're the biggest team in the world. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they've got a lot of history themselves. That's right. Won, yeah. um, won it more than anyone's ever won it. Jeff Shreves yeah. was, was over there. Jeff, oh, yeah. Sky Sports Jeff Shreves. He's over there. He's interviewing Jabby Alonso after the game. Was, the he, best... was he working? <laughs> he was actually working. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, okay, yeah. One of the best midfielders playing for one of the best teams in the world, right? He's just come off the pitch having beaten CSK Moscow comfortably 4 1. A routine win in yeah. the last 16 of the Champions mm. League. Yeah. And he says, Jabby, the uh, story of the night is Chelsea. What did you think of their turnaround? I don't know, I was playing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I had something on Jeff, yeah. you massive yeah. bell piece. Were you at the game, Jeff? <laughs> because I've just been playing. Can we have like every late year we have a, a Shreve Tuesday where we all just all day we just abuse Jeff yeah. Shreve for being an absolute toilet face. That's every that's every Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> that's it's every, Tuesday. every Tuesday, yeah. yeah. It's like it's like you don't tell you don't just tell your girlfriend you love her on Valentine's Day, you tell her every day thing. <laughs> tell Shreves every day you hate him. Yeah. Because every day it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you double that I hate you yesterday, <laughs> and I hate you half as much, so I'm gonna hate you tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What an idiot. That's what Alonso would have been thinking. Yeah. God, I thought we were rid of you. Yeah. You're half the reason I moved out yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> You're in name Bell probing <laughs> after games. Jeff Reeves, you can tell Jeff Reeves sort of goes back to his sort of mates at, uh, back in the pub and tells about how much he's really good mates with Alonso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, we go way back, don't yeah, worry. Me and Jabs. Yeah, me and Jab it, yeah. Oh, but it, Alonso didn't even play for Chelsea. Yeah. It's not like it was Liverpool. Oh, your old club's done well. Yeah. I can understand it's that. Not, I can't what? imagine, like, his manager from the touchlines going, Chelsea have, t- have clawed back. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, he wouldn't know. He, he wouldn't know. Why, what has happened, Jeff? Fill us in, you 
twat. He's you know? the smuggest prick on television. Yeah, now, he is. Keys and Graves. I mean, what what was he expecting to, uh, Alonso to say? What did Alonso say? Al- Alonso just sort of said, "Well, that's the great." Th- I think he said something like, "That's the great thing about the Champions League. You can throw up these results." I mean, yeah. what else? Did- I, you throw up these I mean, fucking I don't understand what. <laughs> what's, the, what's the point of Shreves asking? What's the point question? of Shreves? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> right, what yeah. you'd have been perhaps more accurate with, but um, you could imagine him though being all smug in the stadium, like when Real Madrid get the third and the fourth, and they're yeah. knocking it around and going, well, "This is all very well, but uh, do you know what's happening?" at the Stamford Bridge guys so in England this is, this is all invalid I can imagine really moaning about having to go to Madrid as well yeah. like, oh what the Chelsea game <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah to come He's laughing. Now, uh, another man who uh, laughs a lot is Gigi Bacali. Yay, Can we go remain here? Yeah. Can we? It's been a little while, hasn't it? Shall He's we, shall we uh, roll the wheel of um, simile and metaphor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See what he comes up with. Oh, dude, Bacali. He's planning on getting rid of all the foreigners that play for his story book arrest team. Hey, good lad. Um, good lad. Uh, in an article from uh, The Guardian, Bacali said, uh, I want to see a team built entirely of Romanians. That's my intention. <laughs> Pablo Brown. Brandon has already left to join a Chinese club and the contracts of um, Geraldo Alves and Valentin Iliev will not be extended after the end of the season and Stefan Nikolic will also leave. I'm almost certain that that will be the first those players have heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, he's, he, the reason why he's doing this is he's, he's harking on back to when Stoyer won the European Cup in 1986, beating <laughs> Terry Venables Barcelona in, yeah. in the final 2 0 on penalties. El Tel. Yeah. <laughs> Barcelona penalties. missed four penalties. Yeah. But the first four penalties. Penalties were missed. Two for Stoyle and two for Barcelona. And, and this is the, these are the stories that escape the country. <laughs> That's what I like about Imagine Gigi Imagine keeping Bacali. a clean sheet in a penalty <laughs> shootout. <laughs> That's an amazing achievement there. But um, uh, as uh, Bacali said, there were only Romanians in the team in 1986 and they won the European Cup. So why should we pay... Get them back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why should we pay high salaries to foreign players and not win anything? I love his logic. Or lack mm. of. Yeah. yeah. But in other news, Bacali uh, is uh, currently uh, being sued by Dynamo Bacali arrest owner Dragos um, Savulescu because uh, Gigi said about uh, Savulescu that he is a man who sleeps with men gay I think that's what he means um, and Savulescu <laughs> wants two and a half million euros in damages I mean is it that bad for that's, someone to that say that is that a really you? really homophobic amount <laughs> I was going to say yeah. the best bit about that story is that, that um, Bacali come back and said he had over 30 witnesses <laughs> who <he> testified <laughs> yeah, I know and with, the, um, with, with busy park <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then that's like some party that <laughs> Savalescu, Savalescu then said he is a thick primitive brute yeah Brilliant. oh I don't know oh. whether that's Bacali which is quite a camp insult it is oh, oh, you yeah. big brute <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh cheers me oh dear oh dear no, let's isolate a couple of them and Mark Hughes as well front, front three um, Blackburn Rovers are down Oh God! And Steve Keen, oh, he annoys me. I'm gonna put it out there. Chicken right. in the cape. Chicken in the cape. Chicken <laughs> yeah, in the cape. All right, let's chicken start with that. Chicken in the cape. <laughs> what are you thinking? Absolutely chicken in the amazing. cape. What I loved about the chicken in the cape was there were so many people uh, just looking really dour and serious about it. And the very nature of a chicken in a cape is that it's meant to make you look stupid. So yeah. the more serious and dour you look, or you're removing a chicken in a cape from a pitch, just yeah. the sillier you look. It was brilliant. Let me, let me just clarify. Really quickly. Let me just clarify. Really this, this isn't a euphemism. There was a chicken. <laughs> Okay. In a Blackburn Rovers cape that was released onto the pitch, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Probably by the Venkies owners going, ah, we've screwed you, you. we in, hate this club. You sign in. in, la la la. You sign in, la la la. What, what I like We're about it keen is. <laughs> but Yakuba looked at this and I go, God, that's the quickest thing I've ever seen move. <laughs> Are we supposed to move that quick? <laughs> Does anyone And that is my dinner you, also. You, yeah, I was going to say he ate that after the game. <laughs> what I found funny was Yakuba. did. Yakuba <laughs> and um, Al Habsi were kind of left to deal with the chicken. <laughs> yeah, as and if all that the stewards stood off. And then as soon as Yakubu picked it up, the stewards were like, right, oh, yeah, we'll take it from here, yeah. Al Habsi was like, is it halal? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. Um, yeah, that's Does right. anyone suspect foul play or? No. Uh, yeah, come on. Um, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if that was. I don't know if that chicken was the first choice, or it was a little bit lower down the pecking order. But um, I just think that Black Pan could have feathered the storm. <laughs> I was about to say they're just trying to feather their own nest, but that'll do. Jimmy okay. got one? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, stick your beak in. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. No He's desperately trying to think of one, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move on. Mm. Um. That's it. That's Very specific. Specific. I wanted to say, yeah. Okay. England have ruined him. Well, yeah, Based on realism, he'd probably get the points over Jim, but that's <laughs> not what we're going to base it on. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I'd like to see those uh, the, the, the per- drunken purchase you made the other night, Pete. Why don't you tell the listeners? <laughs> if, 
<laughs> long term. Not, not, not really anything to do with the Euros. Yeah, but let me. Wait, hang on. <laughs> let me. Long term listeners will know Pete sometimes gets drunk and shops on the internet. Mm. The worst purchase he bought while drunk was a pair of uh, TV glasses yeah, that, that didn't work because they weren't <laughs> compatible with the glasses that he already wore. Yes. That what? was that was in JFK Airport though. That wasn't on eBay. It was drunken purchase though. That was a drunken purchase. Yeah. Yes. And what did you drunkenly purchase yesterday? <laughs> this is absolutely true. Two pianos. <laughs> Two pianos. <laughs> Two pianos. Uh, I, I didn't were they realize. both for yourself? I thought one of them had a reserve on it. Turns out it didn't, so I won them both. So in many ways, I'm you double win the winner. Them. I'm a winner. It's not just, <laughs> I won the auction. You, you, bought, like you want an auction winning? I'll win it for you. Do you feel like a winner? I feel like I feel like Rick Wakeman. Yeah, <laughs> it's not just than Rick Waller. Yeah, um, uh, it's it's uh, not uh, just you involved in this though, Pete, is it? Because you don't drive, so. No, yeah, so I'll ask, ask the drivers out to Maidstone in Kent. Uh, and that's the only reason why she knows about the uh, two pianos that I bought by accident. Your long suffering girlfriend. She is furious. Yeah. <laughs> two pianos and so a beat. Just listeners to be I rent. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, the Euros is already a success for me. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the best thing that's happened, happened this summer. It hasn't even touched, kicked the ball. <laughs> All right, Luke. Um, I would like to see. Pete, um, learn the piano, and then by the end of the yeah. Euros, you can do the theme tune. Yeah. Hello, Joanna. I'd like to see... Ah, happy day. Yeah. <laughs> happy days. Well now. done, Adam Sunderland. Mm. Yeah, uh, we, we, have a, we have a final uh, email. Uh, this is uh, a friend of mine uh, sort of put me onto this. A friend of mine, ben, ben Vanderveld, his name is. He was uh, Lovely about a friend of his, Gareth Hooper, uh, would write silly football poems. Right, This is a two-part. So I'm just going to firstly going to read the poem right, <laughs> um, and then tell you the story behind it. It's, uh, it's called If We Could Clone Ian Wone. <laughs> If we could clone Ian Wone, there'd be nothing else we'd need. Not a weakness on the pitch, entertainment guaranteed. Ian, you play centre back, Wone, you're in goal. Should we play with two up top or stick Ian in the hole? <laughs> If we could clone Ian Wone, what a team we'd be. A 3-1 win away from home and Ian's grabbed all three. <laughs> Ian Wone from fullback, up the lines of forward, Wone. Wone then sticks it in the box and Ian heads it home. <laughs> if we could clone Ian Wone, no team could ask for more. Better than United in 99 or Arsenal win 04. After the referee's blown for full time and the players are heading home, each opposition player's happy. He swaps shirts with Ian Wone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of applause, yeah. isn't it? Right, and sort of the, the story behind that is uh, that, that Gareth Hooper, the author of that superb poem, found a way to somehow get in touch with Ian Wone and send him this poem and he got an email back from Ian Wone's sister saying stop hassling my brother you weirdo <laughs> and the thing I like about it is that his sister has access to his emails yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's also called Ian yeah. <laughs> certainly before the game at least it did sort of dwindle a little but um, yeah you've got to be able to handle that it's yeah, a completely yeah, yeah. completely different set of circumstances than from a normal game so to keep your head and be able to play your natural game is impressive when, yeah. where I was sat I was sat next to four English, <coughs> English fans who were just so delighted to be there mm. um, it actually became quite infectious first of all I was thinking oh these guys are going to be idiots but they were actually really cool <coughs> and they are enthusiastic and they, everything was turned into a chant so as soon as they started lining up for the national anthems they started going national anthems national anthems <laughs> 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 I was like not everything needs a chant it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> the national anthems are music anyway yeah. so you don't need to chant Yes. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they kept coming back with uh, massive uh, boxes of beers mm. um, and obviously not realising that all the beer in the ground was non-alcoholic which is why it was only about just under two pounds did you pound. know that Pete? no I didn't know that no. <laughs> still acted drunk though didn't you? yeah did <laughs> <A> giddy goose <laughs> at one point Pete realised that we were surrounded by a lot of people who wouldn't speak English so I was chanting put it in my bot bot <laughs> I was because you know I, obviously a football ground a, a football ground is a very sort of like alpha male kind of you know occasionally um, homophobic area so I was just shouting like come and get come and give me a kiss lads and like nobody was, yeah you were also trying to lift uh, our spirits when we were two one down with such chanting and yes, I appreciated that you, you had a testing few days it? It yeah. all, it all I mean out. you can hear it in my voice to yeah. be honest. it was cathartic was it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a sort of chant and a look that said yeah oh yeah I've seen things <laughs> I've seen things you couldn't even and imagine. So, and do and you know what? Um, just when Marcus uh, or, or Luke, you mentioned that the beer was non-alcoholic, th th this is the exact point where I actually find out that uh, it was non-alcoholic. So uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't did, know that before. I didn't know that before. So I'd no, like but, to thank you for that. But we, in first, you were drinking. You had a few actual beers before the game. Mm. Yeah, oh, but, a geezer, to be honest, right? I was a bit oh, England, no, England, but I was a little bit sleepy, and I think the sugar had sort of picked, perked me up a little bit, and yeah. I could feel that a little bit. Uh, I said to Jim earlier did you know the beer in the game was non-alcoholic and he went no I didn't but thinking about it it did taste of lavender <laughs> it did it was very very sugary wasn't it it was a very strange sugary beer but should we talk about the game itself so, uh, so, so there we are there we are ladies and gentlemen um, uh, let's have, let's have one more tweet 
um, right. before we uh, before we leave you. If, um, you if you'd like to get involved by the way it is at football ramble so at right. football ramble oh, uh, this is this is from uh, at slate underscore dog and he says uh, which would you rather be attacked by ten duck sized horses or one horse sized duck hashtag real life quandary uh, that real life? it's not a real life quandary <laughs> yeah. uh, let me put your mind at rest Mr Dog <laughs> that is we'll, not a real life yeah. quandary we'll never let Marcus pick tweets again <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so are we are we agreed that's the quality you? of the tweets <laughs> <laughs> that was the, he's picked the best one I said I said we'll pick the best ones Look, out it's, it's a good tweet let's get round to the, answering the question thank you Jim right, if, we, if, if we're a group of four I think we go with the horses because the, you know you can just pick them off. How, how, how many was it? Ducks, or duck-sized horses. A horse-sized duck is ten. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. How big, how exactly. How big, how big, how big its mouth would be. <laughs> It'd be like a dragon. <laughs> it would be, it's basically a dragon with feathers and no fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how loud would the quack be? Oh, yeah. it'd be devastating. Yeah, but it, that that would be the scariest thing about. Yeah, it. but it, it, no pace. I'd take the horses on all day. No, yeah, I'd no, take. The, oh, the duck can fly. To be honest, oh, the duck yeah. will be the duck will be like dying in a mercier because. There's not enough bread in Greg's to be able to set his, his <laughs> hunger for bread. You're from Newcastle and you know that isn't true. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think there's other places you can buy bread, Pete. Well, other than Greg's? Yeah. <laughs> Where would you get your yum yums from? They're a staple part of your breakfast. That's not true. if you're a duck. <laughs> not true. if you're a duck. I was gonna, yeah, ducks. Uh, it, if I know. hear that sentence one more time, honestly. <laughs> not if you're a duck, so Pete. Not if you're for? a duck. Piss off, everyone. I think, as a collective, I think the small horses, we could take the small horses as a collective. Yeah. I mean, they'd still be pretty hard, but you just kick it in the face. Yeah, I've kicked. I've just kicked, belt it in the face, I've side the of the head. Shit out of him. I'd, I'd stamp on him. <laughs> I'd, fa- I'd fancy the big duck. Stamping on horses, the pig dancer story. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fancy. I'd fancy the big duck. I, I'd, I'm never going to sleep again. Think, think that big duck. Or you could pick up one of the small horses and use it as a club to hit the others with. Yeah, but he you bite your fingers off. No, yeah. but you, you get his back legs. No, but it would kick you. Yeah. Yeah, but you're holding his legs. Can we have better tweaks next time? Yeah, maybe. I'd rather like two of them around like um, two, <laughs> two anyway, roller to, skates. To try and rescue. <laughs> Now then, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the moment. It's time. <laughs> it's time to open up the envelope sealed with the shiny and check out how wrong we can be. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, long-term listeners will remember that last time for the World Cup, I predicted uh, England to get to the semi-finals. So yeah. mm. That's the sort of form you can expect. Indeed. Um, the shiny's off. Oh. Hand here we are. Out. Hand out. Hands out. Right, so Pete's not here, so I'll do, shall I do Pete? You read off Pete. So what we'll do is we... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pete. Laughing at Pete when he's not here is almost as good as laughing at him when he is here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. It's a good substitute. Yeah. Um, total cards. What was the total cards? The official total cards for the entire tournament was 126, 126. both yellow and red. Jim, what <laughs> you got? I went for 85. I'm not sure what my... Uh, a little bit low. Luke? Time. 130. Very close. Not bad. Four out. I went for 100. Okay. Pete's gone for 36. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this up either. <laughs> Is he trying to make us I'll laugh? take a photo of this and put it on Twitter later. So oh, Pete, Pete was 90 out. <laughs> dear, oh That's dear. more than my whole prediction out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jim. Uh, the, oh, the total goals. Total goals. I went for 91. 91. And what was it? The total, oh, sorry. Amount, the total amount of goals was 76. Well, 91. Mm. Not too I was bad. expecting this to be more hammerings than there were. Luke? 72. Ooh, Four out close. again. I went for 90. So closer than Jim. Uh, Pete. Pete's gone for 43. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he know what we were, you know, making predictions for? <laughs> Um, I can see on his red pen he's crossed out 37. (laughs) (laughs) He was not looking forward to this tournament, was he? He did not have high hopes. He was predicted like one goal a game. (laughs) Why did he cross out 37? Not that, no, no, it's stupid. It's too low. There'll be about six more. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, poor old Pete, brilliant. Poor old Pete. So I think you got the best of that, Luke. Yeah. Hello, mate. Um, Can you give us a ring back? Um, I'm in in a room. There's, uh, there's, I think I messed this up a bit, mate. Uh, uh, Luke. I met some people and they, they were part of something that I didn't. Uh, I'm in a room now. I think I fucked this up, mate, to be honest. Um, 